okay, so these are some things that I've thought of between, you know, watching the movie the first time, watching it again, and um, I think maybe the, the, the thing about the, um, I, th I think I sort of took it as an arranged marriage. I read it as, I, the, the way I understood it, no matter what, um, Nechiri and the warrior, soup can't quite remember the other half of that, but I thought that they were going to be married no matter what. And I had expected more of a conflict when they realized, uh, especially the one when the warrior realized that, um, you know, she and Jake had slept together. And there kind of wasn't, it was, you know, I think it was more, um, more the, the overall betrayal that the warrior was um, angry about, so... But, I don't know, maybe, I, I mean, it's not... I, I suppose it, it isn't necessarily supposed to be uh, an arranged marriage, so, you know... I personally really, really love the way it treated the, um, the this primitive religion, primitive society. It, it was very respectful towards the, um, the, the ideals that they had, and it never, it never mocked them, and, you know, I, from what I know of uh, primitive societies and uh, religions, it all rang very true to me, you know, and um, seemed very true to that, and I watched, uh, you know, tonight I watched it with uh, my father, who's uh, very interested in other cultures, and he also said that there was nothing that he felt was out of place for that. He loved it too, by the way. And I, I like that we learn so much about the way they perceive the world around them and the way they think and all that. And I, and I, 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 th I think some people are bothered by uh, there's you know it's it's very literal the connection that um, the Nari have with um, quick tangent. Is it just me or is it kind of funny that? Jake's big speech, big Oscar moment speech, was almost in Nari. Anyway, um, the the Nari have you know the this very you know connection with other living things, um, the tree and the ground, um, in that one place, and the these horse creatures that they ride, and uh, when when Jake becomes the uh, Turok Makto, also with the the Turok, I didn't personally. Uh, I I'm. I wasn't bothered by that. I um. I don't know. I. I think it's okay to spell that stuff out like that because. I mean, this isn't a secret, but we're really not in touch with nature. Um, you know, we. And and that's what the movie is about. You know, a, a people who are in touch with nature. So. I think um, it it might have um, some people might not have gotten it if it hadn't been spelled out like that. I think the the presentation it it managed to really make us care about. I mean that's that's another thing about the mind blowing effects. You actually they're they're not there for show. You actually care about these characters. Um, they're they're not just a bunch of pixels. I mean, those faces and those eyes, I'm man enough to admit, I've watched the movie twice now, I've choked up about it five times in the theater, over those two. It is, and all five, related to the Nari. I've, I've heard complaints that there's like too much, that it almost, you know, goes the same place that the prequels, Star Wars did, with, you know, just because you can, you don't have to bombard us with special effects and think up a million different creatures and locations and all that. I don't think it overdid it. I don't think Avatar did that. Um, yes, there was a lot of stuff, but can you name me one thing, one, that did not pay off? The hammerhead thing paid off near the end. The, the second creature there that we met, the, 
the black thing that then, then chases him, that paid off near the end. Yeah, I, I can't think of anything that did not pay off. I do maintain that Trudy, you know, you, you would have expected her to be punished, or, you know, at least prevented from being in direct contact with the, um, you know, the, the prisoners on account of her, you know, refusing to fire and flying back when, um, I don't know, I don't think that made sense. I've also heard some uh, complaints about the line, we have to fight terror with terror. Someone said that that's um, that that it doesn't make sense because the Nari haven't done anything. You know, the the, the Quaritch tells uh, says that like um, a few seconds after he reveals that there are like now two thousand of them or several thousands or something, and then he says that and I'm sorry, but. That was the exact point. The Nari hadn't done anything. They hadn't. They were protecting their own land, and most recently they were just mobilizing, and that's it. And that's that's not inaccurate. About you know when 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 we decide that someone is inferior to us, then just them expressing, just them protesting, is enough to. Um, get us to say, you know, to... I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna go into a history lesson here, but I'm sorry, read up on the lunch counter sit-ins, okay? 60s. Black people and white people. That's not a reach. It... That stuff has happened. I, I think it, it's good that we never find out what the unobtainium actually does, that it's just kind of, um, you know, it's worth a lot of money. That's that's all we're told about it, um, and you know you can just think of whatever you want it to be for. You know, uh, fuel or jewelry, whatever you want it to be. Um, then then there are some people who complain that it's like trying to make us white people feel guilty about the way we've treated other cultures. I don't personally think that that's the point. I I think that the idea with it is to remind us that we have been like that, and in some places it's still going on, and to, you know, to point out to us, we shouldn't be like that. It's just, you know, yes it's very on the nose, but it's, it's a mainstream ho Hollywood movie, what do you expect? I, I think it's important because some people are like that, and some, I, I think it's good if most people do get to think about that, do get to, you know, see the, the other side, um, and to develop some empathy for people who just happen to look different or act different, you know, to, to promote some cultural understanding, and I'm gonna stop now. Lastly, I just want to say I think it's awesome that Cameron clearly is using the effects as a tool, you know, he is not just, look at what we can do, see how pretty this is, you know, every Every effect in the movie has a purpose. There's, you know, a, a, in addition to showing us fantastical places, it's also, you know, there, there's a point behind all the, I mean, when you first see, um, you know, the, the horse and the, the thing about, you know, feel, feel him, Jake, feel his, uh, his, his breath, his, his strong legs, all that, you know, and that f felt like, I mean, the scene could, uh, have been done with an actual horse and, you know, in live action. And it, I, I think they did a really good job of that. And I mean, you know, both times people chuckled when they saw the, the nostrils and stuff. You know, it's not something that we usually want to see. But, you know, it was part of, you know, feel, feel his, his breath, you know, become one with him. Well, that's it for tonight. See you next time.